Hello everybody, it's Chuck. Thank you for stopping by my channel. A little visit to the shop here. Well, this video is called Educated Minds. And as you can see, I've got the uh, lift table back apart and turned back over. And uh, I'm calling it Educated Minds because uh, I've got a lot of viewers and a lot of viewers are smart and uh, they made a lot of good comments. Um, I printed, printed some comments here, and uh, out of these 40 comments, 20 expressed uh, issue with the way that I had used the pressure bolts to mount the cast iron table to the lift table. And uh, actually, bef before I went through with my install, I had my good buddy Carl, and I don't mean to throw Carl under the bus here, uh, but I had Carl come by and we kind of reviewed it and talked about it and uh, I think I talked him into my idea. I think he was tired and just said, yeah, yeah, that's okay. And I had all my reasoning why. Uh, but reading the comments, um, good valid comments and uh, so we're going to do uh, some repair. I've, I've been reading them all along as they come in and then uh, today I happened to read one from uh, Pierre uh, he's up in Canada, and it was one of the last comments, and, and I went, you know, Pierre, you're right. And I came home and took a look at it, and uh, we'll, we'll go over there and we'll have a little discussion about it. Uh, didn't get much done on Saturday. Uh, I played golf with my son in a tournament. Uh, we, we actually uh, tied for first place, four under par, and then I lost it in the putt off. Uh, my bad. But, uh, and then Sunday, uh, I was exhausted. It was a long day. Um, but anyway, enough of that. Um, I just wanted to run through some of the comments uh, real quick. Um, first off, I, my, my good buddy, uh, where is it? Harold, uh, amateur redneck woodshop. And, and uh, I gotta find it, Harold. Uh, Harold's a good friend. And, uh, oh, come on, let me find it. And his comment, uh, here it is. Great work on the most part. I'm going to break my rule that I don't armchair supervise, but I'm concerned about this and cannot keep my mouth shut. We can stop right there. Comments. I want anybody and everybody to say what they, what they feel, what they, what they see, what they think. Communication is learning. Hey, I may not like what you say. That's okay. I don't take it to heart. I, I well, I take it to heart to learn, but I don't hold it against somebody for something they say. Um, I mean, his his comment was positive in the sense that he didn't feel that it was a good attachment and didn't want to see that I got hurt from it. Um, and that was basically uh, comments from. The, the 20 people out of 40 that said, hey, you know, take another look at this. Uh, and they had different ideas. I, I like uh, uh, Brian. Brian is uh, BC Block 02. You know, he's, Brian's building his barn. We've been watching that. He's a heck of a machinist. And, you know, he's got that big ass mill. And, and his comment was, I would have milled the ribs right out of the bottom of that dude. <laughs> of course you would have. <laughs> you got the machine to do it. Um, uh, Chemtech had some great comments. Uh, Peter Meek, good comments. Um, I may not mention everybody here. Emma's uh, Spare Room Machine Shop, good comments. Um, the, uh, every, you know, all in all. I, and I, and I uh, got to give a shout out to Mr. Duke, how he says hi. <laughs> Mr. Duke is, uh, is uh, Doug Thompson's pup. And uh, we have a good time. And uh, uh, and a couple of nice words about my son that I put in the video. He was I wish he was a little better on the video that day, but he's a great little kid and uh, and uh, love the love the death with him. Uh, so a lot of ideas about different ways to fix it. And uh, I'm going to move the camera over, and uh, we'll take a look at it. And uh, we will discuss what I'm planning on doing. It was kind of fun uh, using the hoist and lifting the tabletop over by myself. 
uh, making sure I didn't uh, create a problem as I did it. Um, and along with this video being called Educated Minds, uh, at the end, I got a quiz uh, for everybody. And it'd be uh, like, it's a little PowerPoint movie, 13 questions, 14 questions. It, uh, I had an idea for the Summer Bash, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. And uh, if you guys haven't registered and there's still spots, try to, try to get there. Um, it, if you may not be in the group of the emails running around right now, but it's, uh, it's quite a, quite a uh, banter going on about the upcoming four jaw contest. And uh, bets are already starting to be laid, the odds, and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun reading the emails. Um, but with that, educated minds, uh, so I was, I was putting together uh, what I thought would be a fun little contest uh, of a quiz uh, for a prize. And I had it figured out, and I, had it, I actually devised the sheet, and then I was going to have it where it was a punch card, and then I would have a very simple way of checking the punch cards. Um, and uh, ended up with enough stuff going on there, I opted not to do it. So you're going to see the Bash quiz uh, on today's video. The way that I presented it is uh, the question will be there. It'll be on the screen for about 10 seconds. Uh, and then the same question will come up with the correct answer behind it. Um, figured that's simpler than you guys trying to write down A, B, C, and, and the numbers. Uh, it's just a little fun thing. See how you guys do on the quiz. Uh, I think you might enjoy it. And there's a bonus question at the end. Um, so let me, uh, let me grab the camera and uh, we will uh, move over and look at the bottom of the table, have a quick discussion, and then uh, turn you over to the quiz. Again, thanks for uh, stopping by. Here's a shot of the uh, planned fix. So I got a piece of uh, one inch flat bar running horizontal across and then some one inch flat bar that'll get welded, that'll touch the bottom of the table. And then I've got a piece of uh, channel iron here. Did I just kick the camera? I did. Uh, I have a piece of channel iron here that'll weld to this piece of channel iron and it'll weld to the flat bar. I'm gonna do that on both sides and uh, I don't think we'll have any more worries. So uh, again, everybody, thank you for all of your comments, suggestions and uh, for worrying about my health and safety. I appreciate that. And uh, let's move on to the quiz.